John Stewart is back in business. He'll be on The Daily Show again. Why? Well, obviously, to stop Donald Trump from destroying democracy. Well, that's just a right-wing conspiracy, clearly. Except the article states, uh, yeah, he's only going to be on on Mondays until the election. So, <laughs> yeah, it's 100% about trying to convince the already brainwashed youth of America to vote against Trump. Biden's the future. Ah, we're all going to die. What a fucking cunt. But as Jon Stewart used to always say when he was back on Bill O'Reilly's show, He's not as left-wing as we think. He's actually quite moderate. And then he left The Daily Show and made it abundantly clear that, no, actually, he's way further left than we thought. As you may know, uh, this country has had some issues with race. 1619, and then <laughs> had a few hiccups since then. But mostly it's been fine. We've all been chilling. It's been chill. Until a couple years ago, another rare bad thing happened to black people in the summer of 2020. The thing that kills African people in America is not what white people say, but what they do. Their policies, their actions. See, white people are pretending that this problem is new. And we're just hearing about it now because we love to discover stuff that's already existed. <laughs> Huh, well, interesting. I mean, according to statistics, blacks are dying because, you know, they're getting killed by other blacks. But you're going to go with, no, 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 no. It's white people's policies that are destroying the lives of black people, which is interesting because all these large cities with black people dying every day, yeah, they're, the cities are run by blacks. And the mayor's office and the city council... So, how are these policies white people's faults? Can you run that by me? Oh, no, you can't. Of course not. You leave that part out conveniently. And if you actually did your homework there, Jonathan, you'd notice that the thing that is destroying black people's lives is policies. Specific policies that Democrats have been pushing since the 1960s. But that would involve doing a little bit of research and not being lazy and just screaming, It's white people's fault! But liberals are lazy. And that's why they buy into this nonsense. Welcome back, John. Not really.